Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Reina, I'm a fourth year dental student. And in this video, I'm going to talk about six ways that you can boost your application this year and give yourself the best chance of getting offers in a pandemic. You might be thinking, surely there's no way I can stand out this year without work experience. But there are some ways you can boost your application to dental school right now. These are things that will give you insights into the profession without traditional work experience and things that you can reflect on in your personal statement and interview. The biggest point that I want to make in this video is that although this year has been difficult for everyone, which dental schools will understand, you can still be proactive, think outside the box and do something different to make yourself stand out. I've really put a lot of effort into finding the resources for this video and if I was applying again to dental school this year, this is what I would genuinely be doing. So if you enjoy it, please give it a like and subscribe because I've got lots more content on the way. So what can you do instead of traditional work experience in a dental practice? Well, firstly, online courses are a great way to get insight into the profession from home and the there are so many different options for different topics in dentistry that can interest you. For example, a really popular choice, and this is one that I did as well when I was applying, is Discover Dentistry by the University of Sheffield. This is a free six week course on Future Learn and it teaches you some basics like dental instruments, charting, tooth morphology, tooth development, roles in the dental team, and a history of dentistry. I really like this course and I think it's at the right level of difficulty for applicants, but because so many people will do this one, you might like to have a look at other options as well. So when I was searching online, I came across a website called Class Central and it had a list of other free dentistry courses on there and some of them looked way too advanced so just be aware of that but I don't think it hurts to still look into them. I haven't done any of these other courses myself but if I was to recommend any, firstly there is Mouth Care Matters by the University of Manchester on Future Learn. This course is more about how some people can struggle to look after their mouth or oral care themselves for various reasons so for example being elderly without good manual dexterity to hold a toothbrush and how dentists and health and social care workers or carers can step in and help these patients. It goes over the basics of dental hygiene, common conditions like tooth decay and gum disease, and how to assess and look after someone else's mouth. Although this course isn't about dentistry as a career like Discover Dentistry is, it can still give you some really good insight on how oral health is managed in other health and social care sectors, especially if you're able to do some volunteering in a similar setting like a care home and get to learn about it there as well. There is also another free course on the website Coursera called Introduction to Dental Medicine by the University of Pennsylvania and they've classed this at beginner level. It seems to have a really good syllabus for teaching you about the basics of tooth structure and the oral cavity, common diseases, how you can assess patients and public health. I also came across another course called Dentistry 101 by the University of Michigan which talks about dentistry as a career, specialising and the paths that you can take so definitely very relevant for an applicant. The other course that I wanted to mention if you're interested in dental materials is Materials and Oral Health by the University of Hong Kong. This will definitely get too complicated into material science, but there is a section on digital dentistry, which is usually a hot topic in interviews, so definitely worth looking into. I would also suggest not being so narrow with what courses you do and looking at healthcare on a wider perspective. So there are courses on the NHS as well as COVID now, including how remote consultations and triaging are changing the way healthcare is delivered. I would say don't get too caught up with trying to understand absolutely everything Thing because things will get complicated across these courses to try to get a good overview of the topics and see what interests you. This leads me on to my next suggestion to try and boost your application and that is to try and seek out virtual shadowing or work experience opportunities. Now these are a little bit harder to come by because I found they're not as widely advertised and usually they're one-off events but I think the best place to look would be Instagram. For example in February there was an event from the Toothologist for a free virtual work experience weekend and I've recently come across an Instagram page called Dental mentor family who are also advertising a similar thing so I would really suggest keeping an eye on Instagram pages following them and turning your notifications on because you never know what can come up. I would also recommend seeing if you qualify for any dental school widening participation schemes because they often hold virtual work experience events. Often on Instagram as well dentists and dental students might do random Instagram lives talking about their experiences giving application help so make sure you follow any that you come across and keep up to date and see if you can join in with any of them. Even if you can't find any events or talks happening, you could message a dentist or dental student directly to find out more about their career, why they do it, how they got into it and get some insight directly. This year it's all about taking the initiative to get experience any way that you can and I don't think there's anything wrong with messaging people online who are in the field in a way that's safe to do so. A very quick mention to the fact that there are also dentists and dental students who vlog their experiences on YouTube and although I wouldn't put this option first to get 
that experience, it is a very quick way to get some insight and see what people do day to day. This is why I have lots of dental school vlogs so you can see exactly what I do at university and whether it's something that you can see yourself doing as well. Okay, so the third way you can boost your application is through volunteering. Volunteering as well as work experience is another really important part of the application because it shows your empathy, your caring nature, and your commitment to doing something long-term, especially when you've been volunteering for a while. I personally volunteered in a care home and a secondary school back when I applied, but obviously this is probably not possible right now or very difficult to get. However, you can volunteer for things remotely if it's not safe to go physically into somewhere. Telephone befriending could be an example of something you could do right now to help someone in the pandemic. It could also involve helping someone out in your local community. Maybe someone is self-isolating and needs someone to do their shopping or other tasks. You could also get involved with raising money for a charity or a cause that you're passionate about by organising a virtual event. I would also recommend having a look online at your local council's volunteering website. I did this for Sheffield and found quite a lot of opportunities and you can also ask through your school or college. If you still can't find anything, you could ring up local organisations and ask if they need any volunteers. Make sure that whatever you do with work experience or volunteering, that it's safe to do so and that you actually reflect on the experience in your personal statement and not just state that you did this. It's really important to relate relate the experience to dentistry and pick out relevant skills that you've developed. I do have a video all about personal statement tips on my channel so I won't go too much in depth with this but I would recommend keeping a logbook of what you did, what you've learnt from it and what skills you've gained that you can relate to dentistry. This will be really useful for your personal statement and talking about it at interviews. So another really important part of the application are hobbies and extracurriculars because you need to show that you're a well-rounded person that isn't just going to think about teeth and studying 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They want to see that you have outside interests that you have kept up alongside your studies and application and that you can keep up at university alongside dental school. Although we've been in a pandemic I'm sure there will be some way that you can keep up a form of a hobby and I know it's going to be really difficult and not the same but something that comes to mind is trying to develop a hobby or an interest that can show manual dexterity. This is a really important skill for dentists so it's something that you can try and develop at home. For example if you play an instrument that definitely shows it so you can talk about that in the application. There's also art, sculpting, painting, knitting, cake decorating or even something more creative like soap carving. This is where you get a block of soap and you carve an object out of it and online I found pictures of teeth and mouths that people had carved so that could be quite fun. Of course you can have hobbies that aren't to do with manual dexterity so things like exercising, reading, writing, listening to podcasts. Think about what interests you and what you can keep up from home so that you have other things to talk about in your application and not just academics. This is really important to show that you have a good sense of work-life balance because dentistry can get stressful at times. Something else that I did quite a lot of when applying and it can be done easily from home is extra reading and research. What you decide to research is up to you and it depends on what you're interested in learning more about. I personally really really like getting information through podcasts so there are a few that I would recommend here. Firstly there's Dental Appointment by Ryan and Becky who are two dental students and they cover lots of topics topics that are relevant to the application process, life as a dental student and other interesting topics as well. The most recent episode was about strategic applications to dental school so definitely have a look into that. There's also the Teeth and Tails podcast by Dr Shadi Manusheri who has some great episodes on different areas in dentistry, life in dental school and other dental topics and one of my favourite ones recently was with the singing dentist who I'm sure you'll all know of. Also my friend Faris from Faris Dent has just started his own podcast, You Know The Drill, with his friend Robbie and the second episode has just come out with me and it was quite a good episode if I do say so myself. We talked about dental school, why dentistry, um, social media and networking so I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. Obviously you might not be into podcasts so there are some websites that are good for some actual reading. The first one is Dentistry Online or dentistry.co.uk and it has some short really easy to understand articles and it gets updated regularly so I would definitely recommend reading some stuff on there. An interesting article on there that caught my eye when I was researching was one about one in ten adults being more self-conscious about their smiles after COVID-19 so there are some really relevant and topical articles on there and I definitely recommend it. On the British Dental Journal website you can also filter for research articles, see what the current issue is and see what titles look interesting to you and read those. There's also the website Science Daily which publishes more scientific research
research and up and coming innovations in dentistry. The articles on there are a little bit harder to understand, but I would still recommend it to see what's new and what's coming out. Things are always changing in dentistry and it's good to stay up to date. And lastly, there is the dentistry section on the BBC News website, which is probably also worth having a look at and seeing which topics are making it into the big headlines. And it might be good to do this around the time of your interviews as well. Also very quickly, shameless plug, I wanted to mention that I did release a dental school interview guide a few months ago and that has quite a few pages of information on basic topics like NHS dentistry, GDC principles and common conditions, things like that. So it could be quite useful to have a read of that as well. You can get it for free on my website if you sign up to my mailing list. So I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. So when you're doing extra reading, only read things that you're genuinely interested in and don't just do it for the sake of reading. Also be mindful of the source of the information and don't believe everything that you read. Not that things are lying necessarily, but it's just good to look at them with a critical eye and make sure that you can and form your own opinions and reflections from things that you've read. Otherwise, it's just a piece of information without any real meaning. Okay, so you might want to use all of this extra reading and document it in some way. And this is what I would do with it if I was applying again this year. It might be a little bit extra. It's probably quite extra but you could write a short reflection or essay on the things that you've read or listened to. And this demonstrates that you're really passionate about dentistry, you've gone the extra mile and gives you something to talk about in your personal statement or interviews. You could also do this in the form of a dental blog where you write short summaries on the things that you've read or researched. At the moment where no one has really been able to do anything in terms of work experience, I think writing a short piece could really make you stand out. If you get to interview stage, it could also be something that you bring along and talk about, especially if it's a panel interview. Some suggestions for general topics could be the rise in cosmetic dentistry or digital dentistry or new technology that's coming in, maybe how COVID was handled in dentistry or potentially a new innovative treatment as well. You could also pick a widely spoken about topic like the amalgam debate or water fluoridation, whatever it is that your research is up to you and it's gonna be really good background knowledge to have throughout the application process. Of course, this is all just optional and only a suggestion so please don't feel any pressure to do it. I've already spoken about so many other options in this video but I was just trying to think of something that you could easily do from home to demonstrate your passion for dentistry and strengthen your application. So those are some ways that you can really boost your application to dental school this year. Here is a playlist of my other videos on how to get into dental school. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!